And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So last time we beat one of the Mobius dudes and um, now we can just walk around Colony 4 like we actually belong here because they don't see us as monsters anymore. So I guess let's go do that. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Oh no, we're, we're dirt right now, guys. Ah, there you are. Sorry, you are... Uh... I'm sorry. Procurement Division calling me. I got orders from the commander to set you up with a, t with a tent you can use during your stay here. So, make yourself at home. Thanks a lot. Commander told me something else as well. But you guys helped out everyone here at the car, and we all owe you a lot. I'm afraid I won't have time to attend to you personally, but if there's anything you need while, you he while you're here, just let us know, okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. What a exception. So it seemed like a nice person. Maybe you should go ahead and Who? Ah, I think I'd like to take a bath first, actually. Hey, you need love if you're headed to the bath. Yeah, you called me love. Makes me feel weird. Let's just stick with plain old uni, okay? The console we fought back there. Uh huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are going to have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. They're the same? Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consoles giving the orders are the same, it means... It means? Hmm. It means they're playing both sides. Come on. Just spit it out, man. This is just a game. The console's such a big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run-of-the-mill knock-on. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Knock-on a rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Nappon out of this... What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate? And the Queens? You think they're in cahoots? What can you tell us about your Queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long silver hair. Yep, real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Sort of, but they were much more of a shining white. Well, as for our queen, she was really elegant. Refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. Up to here. Hmm. Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role 
is to convey the Queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision-making. So what? If we explain the deal to the Queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Oh, yeah? The Queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the Consuls, our enemy. What? Also, somehow that Consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe... Mobius is the Consuls. The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. Uroboros has no place in this world. Their existence must be erased without a trace. All right, well, that is the end of another chapter. It's good to keep a record. Then so that's gonna end the stream. Thank you for watching now. <laughs> We're not done. We've been, this part has been like seven and a half minutes long. We've endured the fierce fighting at Colony 4 and learn that the Consuls and Mobius are one and the same. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long blindly walking the path set before us without question. But we are more curious now of our future selves, of our purpose. So, split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious, and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around. What does... Look, Taiki boy. Taiki boy? I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> What we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big.
Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. Correct. <clears throat> All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Y yes Commander, strategist. It's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, uh, right. There should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Tie on. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. Ma'am. Listen, I need you to live, Tyon. You must flee for the colony. Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon! Shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why skin Kay lost. Feel? Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarper. Excuses a ten a penny. What are you implying? Excuse me? Oh good, we're fighting Medusa. Is this a private party, or can I interject? 
eventually. I was thinking I might head out alone next. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. This guy looks kind of like the the one guy from knights like not knights themselves but the the one who's like anti-knights i forget their name it might be real Goodest of mornings! Morning, Banana! Okay, everyone's here. Got word from Ethel a little while ago. There's something she wants to tell us. And she would go to the, to the council room to hear it. We should go to the council room to hear it. Very good. We should say thanks for this tent at least. Okay, let's go see what Ethel has to say then. See what you have to say. Yep. Yeah, well, not like we really had a choice to become robbers. Maybe in here? No. Yeah. Oh! Most of these are true to me. I'm pretty sure it's the consoles. We're here to break the cycle. That's pretty much what's happening here. You sound like you have a quest, but uh, can't talk to you right now, so. Taking a look around at the moment. Seeing if there's anyone to talk to. What do you have for sale? What to buy? I swear, someday I will live in a place that's not inside of an echo chamber. This time, I'm sorry. Uh, not surprising. I mean, that's pretty much the plan. That's why I'm talking to everyone so that we can bam bam. Yep. <laughs> Super strong butt. So what you're saying is it was an elite. Well, I dork him, am I right? What are you doing over in the corner? I mean, those things are basically like enormous friggin' gunships. 
Of course, they're going to burn through their flame block in like half an hour. Ah! Wanted them to finish talking before I cut scene. I should have just stopped walking. You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher ups. My iris is clocked. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside, I hunted down a hawks as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. This one little pup. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, ma'am. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. <sighs> but look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put into words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well, all of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Alrighty. Well, let's not keep the lady waiting. They all need to learn to walk.
This is a landmark, really? This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly, the northern and the southern. And then, the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such at ease. <laughs> you can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous, and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyan, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Two months? <sighs> but... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries. Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. Mimi, relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Aww. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it, till last year. <gasps> yes, he died, fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gamp- Mimi, what? If that's what you want. Go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months time, not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have... 
We'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends. Even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rack, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that. Eat your fill, all right. That's uh, that's a lot of food. Okay, so what now? I believe this southward route is currently blocked by one wall. I would estimate that clearing it will take some time, so I'll just have to wait until it's done. Uh, guys, can I say something? Huh? Sounds heavy. I've been thinking and I think that might be something else that we could try. What do you mean about calling the four? All the responsibility. Taeyong, it's not quite like that. I mean, if I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility exactly, it's more like a natural reaction. Feel that you can fall for the That's how I feel about it. Right now, at least. Amy, your heart's big enough for everyone to have a slice. Okay, well, no time like the present. Let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ethel helped us out way back after all. Now we've got a chance to give something back, right? I suppose it'll help us earn the trust in a little bit of time. I, I think Mimi's right. Guys, thanks. Right, well, that was heartwarming to be sure, but what are we going to do to help exactly? Thanks. You need to expend, to expend some mental energy on it yourself instead of blurting questions. I guess this may be tricky. Oi, watch it, buddy. But if we're gonna do that, absolute intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess we gotta. It's one thing to know to want something to hand, another to know where to stick it. I guess we'd better ask around the colony then. Hmm. Still feeling weird about this. N no, it's just. What? Worried right about help helping the bad guys? It's a bit late for that, love. Anyway, if anyone tries to stir the pot again, just punt them under eleveness, right? And by we, I mean lands, obviously. I'd like to call Ixney on the punting, that's not too much bother. I'm afraid it would get quite messy. Well, it was just a big uh, it was just a figure of speech made. Okay then, if we're going to start asking around the colony, find out how we can help. All across Aeano Aeonios, you'll find eye icons. Look, uh, look near them for info that could be useful in your travels. Be sure to check any that you happen to find.
I don't think the med team are able to respond in time. Yeah, if this carries on, the wounded will just keep piling up higher and higher. Also take a moment to just talk to as many people as we can here. As every new person we talk to does give us uh, affinity for Colony 4. Yeah, you aren't kidding. <laughs> so good. Yeah, generous portions, especially considering their dirt rank. They don't really get much to work with. Ah, you must be the ones Ethel told us about. Yeah, that's us. I'd love to give you a proper welcome, but unfortunately my hands are somewhat tied right now. I'm truly sorry. The lack of personnel, dwindling the medical supplies, and patients won't stop arriving. Things have been, have been really rough ever since we got back to dirt rank. Not enough medical supplies, huh? So here. That kind of problem calls for a swift end. Lashandra, thanks for the heads up. New topic available. Interesting. Listen to people's conversations on your travels to acquire info fragments. Once you find enough, they can be discussed with fellow party members at rest spots. Discussing gathered info. After gathering info, go to a rest spot and so select discuss for a chance to discuss it. In some cases, these discussions will trigger new quest developments. Without supplies, the medics can't do jack. It's a problem. Seems they're already racking up patients. Better make sure we're well rested. In Discuss, you can talk with the party about the different info fragments that you've gathered. From here, let's discuss the issues of Colony 4. I think we need to discuss this. Alright, let's recap. Injuries from local monsters travel over to the colony's location. There are also some more urgent cases, with more wo wounded appearing by the day. Yeah, the medic team seems super busy. It sounded like we couldn't provide adequate care, so we always had more patients coming in. Feeling like we could deal with this. I got the feel the feeling we could deal with the staffing problem. They didn't also have a not enough stuff problem. I mean, if they had like drugs and bandages. Those kinds of medical supplies are difficult to craft without specialized facilities. Oh, one of the arson of nowhere, and therefore bang out of luck. Besides, it's only a matter of time before all the supplies start bringing out. Spiral. Oh, so what? We're up the creek with no paddle? Well, we have to do something. Hang on. No, that wouldn't. Would it? Tehan, if you've got something to say, then do, or by the Queen's knuckles, I'll slap you. Yes, but. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What is it, Tehan? Did you come up with something? First of all, I have to say there's no guarantee. Spit it out, man. We can work, the we can work out the kings later. Here. Then let's leave this instant. You what? Oi, what are you up to now? Gaggles and uh, Gaggles Mini. We're lucky, we might make it in time. In time for what? You're not making sense. So we have to go this instant. I'll explain when we get there. We need drop it. Let's just do as he says. Hmm. 
no want of courage. Hey, you lot! Got a second! What's up, Boliaris? It's the commander. What's the commander? Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. She wouldn't hesitate to die for the colony that came down to it. And she's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... Colony 4, then... Uh, we'd be... Okay, okay. Calm down. Uh, sorry. Got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, okay? Sorry to have kept you. Yeah. Alright, so that completes that quest. Discussing, dif uh, discussing different info fragments in further quests, like the issues at Colony 4 we were just talking about. Changing the active quest. When the quest is active, its destination will be marked on screen with an exclamation mark. Press Y to view an active quest current objective. If you have no active quest when a new one triggers, it will become auto-activated. Otherwise, you can activate it with Y. You can toggle quest auto-activation in options J. In Quests in the main menu, select the quest from the list, then press Y to register it as an active quest. Galgul's menu is north of here. Yeah, yeah, and we better hurry, right? Solve it. No time like the present. Uh, let's see. Press the correct buttons there, Gloria. Oh, this is a different class of quest. Interesting. Or are these? Yeah, these are all complete. Okay, they yeah they have a check mark so. Cool. All right. Also, we still do not have uh, Colony 4 on this list. Probably we have to like clear this quest and then we'll be able to start doing Collectopedia stuff for Colony 4. Big Chongo! Hmm. All sixteen. This one's gonna be like that. Well,
Trying to figure out what my best move is, honestly. There we go. Not gonna lie, I always get a little nervous when aggro's on me. I'm not used to being a tank in any game. You can you cannot make you cannot make it look into the group. I mean that holds true for like World of Warcraft, um, where all of the player characters are controlled by actual players. Usually the mechanics are a little different if there is only one player controlled character. <laughs> side to me. I don't think we're gonna get the product. Yeah, eighty-eight percent. I'm really not sure how I meant to really do that. Wait. Oh, we've pulled a rando. I want to get this guy out of the way. We don't need random garbage striking us down while we uh, There we go. That's how I not die. Now though, I'm pretty much dead. I was hoping to move closer to the party, but uh, that ended up not happening. Fortunately, uh, looks like Uni was on it. There we go.
close to something decent, right? I mean, I should hope we get something decent out of uh, out of a unique. Ooh, shiny. Huh? Is that? I don't want to do this. But you're in our way. It's never a dull moment. I mean, they're not really. Oh, another one over there. Another one incoming. I'm guessing we weren't supposed to go this way. Mm. Not to worry. Oh. You're dealing with me. Hey, buddy. There is a conflict going on down there. And then here and I think this is the first time that we actually use one of these things. Let's go resolve this. No spoils for either one. Alright. Um, then let's just be foolish. Make sure to focus fire here. There's a couple of them not uh, aggro to tanks. I think it's in under control now. Someone's trying real hard to aggro on someone else. Well, we did that for basically nothing. <laughs> Let's go. I swear, we're going to be walking on some of this, like... I don't know if this is sand or salt or what, but, um... If 
only you didn't charge off on your own. Huh. Sweet, let's poke her out. So this is where we're supposed to be. Oh, that's a dude. That this is a dude. Ah. Someone's mastered an art. I missed who it was, though. Huh. Red Room huh. Seed. Huh. Ooh. Well, we've been found. I was hoping to actually, you know. Oh, geez. Get this guy first. are aggro yeah we we had three on us including an elite so of course that uh, it's not gonna turn out well Pretty much, I think the, the better idea here is to uh, try to run away. And disengaged one. Okay. So now let's try that again without getting the elite's attention. Oops, they found us. It's not the elite, so at least there's that. I'll try to keep an eye on him though. Go. Okay, I think we're not gonna have to worry about the elite. Crap, he's turning around.
I think it's fine. If he aggroes, I don't think he has any backup. You guys, however, are definitely gonna aggro on us if we don't have any focus. We've almost outleveled uh, these Vagra Hawks, but uh, we need to be more than five levels over. Now what's your fool ass doing over here? Ethel? Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? That's what I was. Wait, look over there! Supply drops. Supply containers airdrop from each army's HQ at the castles. Contain many valuable items. It's always worth looking out for the red smoke marking their landing sites. If the player notices, uh, uh, if the player character notices a supply drop nearby, you can hold ZR to check its location. Oh. Um. Oh, just keep holding until it does a thing. Was that a supply drop? Yes. Sent from Agnes. How can you tell? We got word that an advanced troop from Agnes had been seen in the area. And if they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has to be due to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Funnily enough, it's that supply drop we're after. Did you know about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. I could never verify that supplies were being dropped, but I won't say I didn't suspect. Oh yeah? Well, looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, it sounds as though you're after supplies too. Well, medical supplies specifically. We thought Colony 4 might need them. I see. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Really? Boliaris was looking for you. You didn't actually come alone, did you? I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct. And I can't risk any more casualties. So you thought you'd go and take care of this yourself, huh? In that case, we... I said I couldn't afford any more casualties, and that includes you. I appreciate that you're willing, but Colony 4 is my responsibility. We want to work with you, Ethel. Be that as it may. We've already made our minds up. That's why we're here. You might end up having to cross swords with people from your own country. <sighs> Talking about avoiding casualties, you know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed, let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies, and thank you all. Ethel has temporarily joined the party. The special character is called Heroes who can join the party. Heroes can travel with you, albeit in some cases only temporarily, and fight by your side. Head for the smoke rising from the container. That's our drop point. Thank you. Roger, Dodger. Let's go pick it up before someone else does. Also, one thing that I couldn't help but notice is how um Guess it's time to plan the day. 
Ethel's um, age tattoo is in her cleavage. Because of course it is. Because anime. Anyway, we should have a much better time of this this time. Considering that we've only got the one dude to worry about. And we've got Ethel on our side. I'm not really sure how to level up my interlink. It's entirely possible that it was explained and I just failed to pay attention. There we go. You need master to mark. Class you're playing as has reached max rank. Thinking your class would be recommended. So time to shovel things up, I guess. Um, so you're gonna be the other DPS. Um, you get to play tank. So you guys or yeah the rest of you guys are gonna be healers gotta keep you guys safe and then Ethel you can't actually change because you know she's a guest in our party we're gonna have to reorganize these gems too Your V tank, actually. We'll see how well having one tank works out. Maybe this will just fail spectacularly. Take a look through arts as well. And then there's the side. I'm just sure going to attack the dazed enemies. Let's be unblockable. So now we got two big hammers. <laughs> um, Maximum 
voltage. Let's just add a little bit of variation. Um, your yeah, your talent card is gonna still be Infinity Blade because yours is gonna be Pressure Drop. Uh, what do we got here? Popple. Aggro, aggro, lock in the attacks. Oh, this is an AoE. Um, yeah, let's let's keep the AoE. Solid stance. And give you solid stance. So you've got the uh, quote unquote Nanado. Um, Shadow Eye. It's weird to have lands as a healer, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so that's a Veda. Let's see what else we got. Fade down and sleep. Dark banner. Hmm. And I can actually play with your arts as well. Uh, your DPS boss. Um, let's replace Solitaire with Moon Flash. And there's also accessories. Looks like these pretty much reassign automatically. Which is kind of neat actually and Doesn't have anything else. Go through the soul trees. I don't think I'm gonna be able to unlock anything. Oh, actually. Power, eh? A new power, eh? It's 
making uh, making this one go dead first. Check out this sick new skill. Exactly. Oh, so when we unlock a skill on uh, on an Aurora's form, we just get it. We don't have to like pick the one that we want. It's just it's there. Now as far as arts, you only still get three arts, so... have Cypher Edge and they both have Split Second Counter as a, uh, an alternative. everything um I'll do my best let's play as Mio some more whoever thought that we would join forces like this not me it's really unexpected for us too, Ethel. There's some Agnian uh, forces over there. See if we can avoid those. Shiny. Hey, that's not your everyday chump. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Let's try and get him on the side there, but he turned. Let me tell you, they really like to put like enormous structures. Into Busy Blade games. Who 
what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Yeah, there's something kind of cute about how the um, how the classes are set up right now. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll show you after this battle. But if uh, if we take a look at the classes here, so Mio currently has Senna's class. Senna. Oh wait, Senna has Uni's class. Never mind. I thought for some reason I thought that Senna had Mio's class. I'll just leave things as they are. But Mio, Mio and Senna's class and Senna and Mio's class. That is definitely some kind of cute right there. Wonder if there's another way somewhere. Have we been here before? Because yeah, we had the same exact problem. Um in a previous part. Anyway, considering what time it is, I should probably actually like focus on getting this quest done. Something's not right. What? What do we do? <gasps> no time to daydream. We have to hurry. <laughs> Ethel, you're right, Noah. We have no time to waste. Let's rout those nuisances. Something we can use to our advantage. Yes. There's a lot of them, so let's uh, go ahead and focus down. Oh, 
I think I should probably reorder the uh, the arts on Mio because maximum voltage and myopic stream don't really mix. Phew. Glad that's over. Yeah, just one thing left. Ethel. What? Take your wounded and get out. Huh. Leave now. We're already dirt ranks, it's not like we're going down. Did I do the right thing just now? As a Kavesi commander? There was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. You did the right thing, in my opinion. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Some situations aren't salvageable. That's the nature of war. It's beyond anyone's control. Ethel? I'm sorry. <laughs> what a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony 4. I'm afraid I'll need you all a while longer. We find some magical supplies. Well, before before we look for medical supplies, let's send these guys Please off. Peacefully. Now then, let's see what our prize is. Okay, let's get it open. At your service. This is what we were after. Hurry back to Colony 4. I bet Boliaris is crawling out of his skin with worry right about now. I think if we can just warp there. Why can we not skip travel? I want... I, okay. Let's skip travel here. That's uh, better than nothing. Oh, mama. That... that... mmm. Mmm. This is not going to turn out well, is it? Oh wait, no, these are all, th these are our dudes. Never mind. I get confused, what can I say? Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! I look for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, ma'am, I'll... Uh, wait. No. Oh, no, no, you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just... Please. I did this for everyone. I understand your feelings, but... Ugh. Well... I suppose at least you're unharmed. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Nah, don't worry about it. We were acting of our own free will. <laughs> then to reward your efforts, I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. Ethel. Hmm? What's wrong, Noah? I was thinking about what you said. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, 
You helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. That's the only thing I'm certain of, actually. Noah, you... And we never properly thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. <laughs> I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname. Together with Hethel, the party brought back medical supplies. Their respect for her bravery in the face of any and all danger has only deepened. May our alliance last. Ooh. Oh, I see. So when so when we help out a hero, someone gets their class. So now Noah can be a silver coat. Is that a flash fencer? Flash fencer is the name of the class. Class fa uh, flash fencer, roll attacker. Using buff arts is advised before deploying other other arts. Ah. Before deploying other arts, talent arts raise the attack power, so make sure to perform roll action. Complete a hero's hero quest to have them permanently join the party. Deepen your affinity with a hero to allow your main party members free use of that hero's class. Once a hero formally allies with you, the party member designated at the, as that hero's class inheritor will gain the ability to assume the hero's class too. Other characters can still acquire a hero's class by fighting alongside that hero or any party member who has learned that. Uh, who has learned and set that class for themselves. You can check how close each party member is to gaining class from character's class. Filling the character's icon fully will unlock that character's class. The more members you have, uh, the more members you have using classes you want to learn, the quicker you'll be able to teach them to the rest of the team, so take note of which, which classes you have set. Appearance. Go to Characters Clothing in the main menu to change how the characters appear in game. Class equipment unlocks for cosmetic use at rank 10. With some equipment, your current class's weapon may not appear. Okay, all the little drops are done. Time to hit the box. You bet. Um I mean I would love to hit the bath. The problem is. That's probably going to set off another series of cutscenes that's going to keep us here for another 20 minutes. I'm just going to wait for all these tips to uh, finish pouring in here. So I'm going to press the wrong button, as is the style of the time. Press the wrong button again, just for good measure. And then actually save the game like I was intending to do. We have to keep track of our progress. So, uh, yeah, that was a lot of progress we, uh, we had today. And, um, uh, I'm sure that next time we shall have much more going on. There is still a lot of game left, I am positive about that. But, I'll have to wait until next time. We are done for today, so thank you all for watching. Thank you to Jewel for hanging out, um, if you're still there. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday, but tomorrow at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time, it is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle. Uh, last week, uh, version uh, Archipelago version 0.3.4 came out, and so we are going to be um playing on that 
and I'm going to be doing my best at Donkey Kong Country 3. I will say I had a test run uh, earlier this week and it didn't go well, but at least now I know what I'm expecting, so maybe I can tweak some settings and make it a little better for myself. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, next stream after that is going to be on Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the regular long run stream where I intend to be finishing AI the Somnium Files. It is going to be a finish or bust stream, so um, that means up to an additional two hours to actually get to the end of the game. I don't know if we'll need that two hours, but it's there for our use if we need it. Following that is going to be the Code Creator stream, uh, Wednesday at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And we're going to be doing some programming stuff, um, most likely with um, bumper stickers, but it really could be anything. I mean, the last stream was entirely just a bunch of code analysis and going through things like that. Uh, so yeah, that brings us around the week, around the wheel to our next uh, extra long run stream. We're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, helping out Colony 4 and um, hopefully heading off to Sword March. So uh, that is going to do it for today. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know. See you guys next time.